Hello, this is Gabe Gossett on behalf of Western Libraries, and this is a presentation on APA 7th edition focusing on assignments. Now, one thing to keep in mind with APA style is that there's uh, lots of different rules and there's lots of co different complexity that can be involved and some nuance. There's still some basic formatting uh, guidelines and approaches that are good to know about and will apply in most cases. But ultimately, the APA publication manual, that's going to be your go-to when it comes to uh, any uh, in-depth or particular questions. Now, one little pro tip if you're in the market to buy yourself a copy of the publication manual is that I would recommend that you get the spiral-bound version of it. Uh, this is something that I learned from one of the professors here at Western. Uh, it just works so much better when you're working on a paper and you can lay the manual flat as you are working through things. And there's some other resources that are out there that can help you along the way as well including the Hackroll Research and Writing Studio and the librarians at Western. Uh, we're happy to support you as you learn your APA 7th edition and work through it. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. So the outline for today's presentation is we're going to start with why we cite in the first place. This is sometimes the, uh, a topic that, that gets glossed over, but it's an important piece of it because uh, oftentimes people feel like they're putting in a lot of work into something that isn't necessarily, uh, or they, they can't necessarily see the importance of what they are doing. But there are good reasons for it, and so we'll start with that. And then we'll talk a little bit about citing sources in text, and then citing sources in the reference list. Uh, 